Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you a steering wheel and also pedals working on the Nintendo Switch. Now this is just a very quick video just to show you it working. I've done a much longer video where I go into the setup of how to do it. It's really easy to do so if you're interested in this, please see the longer video. Now you can do this really cheaply, I got this all set up for under 30 UK pounds. All we need is a PlayStation 3 steering wheel, you can pick these up second hand very cheap. And we also just need one adapter, that's a Mayflash Magic NS adapter. You can get this for between 15 and 20 UK pounds. So again, not a lot of money. If you're interested in which steering wheel I'm using, it's a Thrustmaster Ferrari GT Experience, also known as a three-in-one because it does PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2, and also the PC as well. Now let me show you at work. I'm gonna be using the pedal set on the floor to accelerate and brake, and I'm using my up and down shifters here to change gear. By default, they want you to use A and B to change gear, but you can easily map it on the steering wheel, so easy to do, to have any button to do anything you want. So that's how I've set it up in this game. If you want to see how to map it, again, see my longer video. Now you can see now I'm accelerating, put myself into first gear there, and I can change gear by going up here, and I can lower gear by going down here. I can also brake by using the left pedal as well. So I'm not using my hands here, and you can see that I'm accelerating, just get it off, and braking. Accelerate and brake. Okay, so let me just do a little bit of driving. So this makes the driving game so much more fun on the Switch. We still haven't got a huge amount of games to choose from. And the good thing is, there appears to be very little lag on it. It works really well. Now, if you're wondering why it takes so long to change gear, well, that's the actual game itself. Even when you've got it in handheld mode or if you're using a Joy-Cons or Pro Controller, it still takes that long to change gear. Right, okay, so you can see that's working well. And now let me show you a couple of other games. Right, I just need to remap the buttons now to suit this particular game. So I'm gonna hit plus and minus, A, accelerate, and now plus and minus, B, and brake, and I also want to change the sensitivity to make it more sensitive. So I'm just going to hit the D-pad and the two paddles, and now my lights here will go to flashing. So that's all we have to do to set it up for this particular game. And now you can see that I'm choosing via the D-pad, so I'm going to do 150cc, not using my hands, and I'm just using the accelerator now to choose my character. I'm going to be using the paddle up to drift around the corners and I'm going to be using the down shifter to use my power up. So as you can see, it works really well. And it does definitely make the games more fun. There we go. And back to home as well. So the last thing I'm gonna show you, I'm just gonna quickly show you Mantis Burn. So Right, so I'm using the pedals down below, right to accelerate, left one to brake. And boost is still gonna be on A. I can map the boost to the right paddle if I would prefer. Let me just do a boost, there you go. So as you can see, by using the steering wheels, it makes the game so much more fun. So if you like this and you want to see exactly how to set it up and how to do the mapping and all the inputs working, then please see my longer video. If this was helpful and you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for more how-to videos. 
Take care. Bye now.